Hey church family, I've got a question for you today. And my question is, who do you trust? According to a recent poll, 65% of Democrats distrust newspapers and 80% distrust television news. And in case you're thinking that this lack of trust is something that is unique to one political party, well, think again. Among Republicans, their trust level is even lower, with only 5% saying they had a great deal or quite a lot of confidence in newspapers, and only 8% trusted the TV news. According to the Gallup organization, confidence in all of our American institutions has fallen in the past 12 to 18 months. Whether you're talking about the police, or the medical community, or churches and organized religion, or Congress, or the Supreme Court, and the presidency. What are the reasons for this lack of trust? No one is sure. Psychologists suggest everything from our 24-hour cable news cycle to our partisan political divisions. So, in the face of declining trust, who do you trust? Some turn to another political party, or a different candidate, or they think that the answer is simply to scrap our current system and try to construct something altogether different. Some 3,000 years ago, the psalmist suggested a different answer. He said, Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. Certainly as followers of Jesus Christ, our trust shouldn't be in our human resources, but in the God who alone is able to save us from any and every situation. In 1956, President Dwight D. Eisenhower signed into law a bill declaring that our national motto would be, In God We Trust. And that's why you'll see it on our country's coins and currency. And while I would agree that that's an inspiring motto to place on our currency and on our monuments, the reality is that stamping it there does not make it so. The bigger question for you and me is, do we really trust in God or do we trust in our own ingenuity? I believe trusting God goes beyond intellectual agreement with the things He tells us. I believe that when it comes to our relationship with Jesus, trust, just like love, can be measured through obedience. In John 14, 5, Jesus said, If you love me, you'll keep my commandments. And I pray that as those who follow Jesus, that that is exactly what we'd be doing, and that others who see us doing it might be led to trust and follow him as well. Amen.